Hey, this is David at Richter Scale Studios. Uh, sorry I haven't put any content up in probably two weeks at least. I just put a dog to sleep, uh, Randall, and it might be in one of the other videos coming up. I did a bunch of videos and haven't edited them or put them together yet, but I am just uh, getting back into the hobby again and swinging things. I got Randall's brother still. Um, yeah, we've been, God, 11 years I've had him and I rescued him. I'll put a picture of them up here in their prime about when they were six. Um, they're like 13 and 14, or Randall was almost 13, and Bash is almost 14. Uh, but I want to talk about uh, 3D printing and terrain again. Uh, this is the Hero Me uh, fan uh, cooler. I love this thing. This is the fifth thing I've put on this machine, and I love it. Uh, it is very lightweight. Uh, you can put adapters for your bed level if you want to do it. I don't need it on Ender 3, and especially as Marlin, so I got uh, uh, manual uh, mesh leveling on it. And then I have the factory fan. I have some 5015s coming in. So this uh, fan thing just pops off a couple M2s. I'll put links to everything below. And then you connect your, uh, you know, I'm gonna do a JST plug. So I gotta put in a, a hardcore blowing fan. Even with these, this fan, with this type of blower, you can see on the end there, it is doing amazing work. And you can see this is an inexpensive PLA from eBay. Uh, I, I think it's not even a company name. I just found it and tried it out. I buy it in rolls of three. I even tried out their yellow. It looks great. Uh, I think it was like 33 bucks for three rolls of this. It's called wood color. So you know I do a lot of terrain printing. So I like a lot of colors like this. And also for doing um, calibration prints, I like a darker gray or tan to really see the um, quality of the print. White and black just, just throws everything off. Even the yellow, I did one. And you couldn't really see any detail or um, blemishes that well. Well, that's it. I'll put links to that. Uh, also, it's done in PETG. We got uh, Matter Hacker Red and eSun Black, all very good quality. And then also I put some um, tensioners on. And this is a different, this is a really cool uh, PETG. This is from 3DX Tech. I was just on Google trying to find something matte in color. Uh, this is really high temperature stuff. It uh, prints around 280 degrees C and on a, a hotter bed, like 90 degrees C. So I've been putting this on my Prusa Mark III until I upgrade these um, Ender 3s to go above, uh, what, 255 or 260 are the, the max on this, and also full metal hot ends. Uh, I'm, like on my CR-10S, I have Micro Swiss on there. I have one on order for, I'll show you in a second. But I tried out some cheap Chinese one, and it's working right now. It's one of these. I have one of the, the, the bigger nozzles on them. These are, like, instead of the tiny, where's the stock one at? See these stock six millimeter nozzles, which are great. I mean, this thing printed awesome. These are eight millimeter uh, MK8s, and I think they do a little more better heat. Uh, well, obviously they're bigger, so they hold more heat. So maybe uh, better printing ability, and uh, this cheap PLA, it looks like butter coming out. It almost looks like a uh, stock e PLA. And what else is going on? Uh, oh, okay, and this is another PEG from uh, 3, 3DX Tech. This is the same uh, low gloss PTG, high temperature. This is sand. Uh, over here, I have another Ender 3. This is one of the newer ones. This is an Ender 3X with the uh, fiberglass plate and the glass plate, which I'm not going to be using. I'm going to be using the, the new BuildTech. They've made sizes for it now. So I have a full magnetic bed with uh, the BuildTech plate, kind of like um, my Prusa Mark III, and I'll be able to do higher temperatures in the Creality one that's um, you know, that kind of like that car sign advertisement magnet with the bill tack on it, which is nice if you're doing PLAs, but I do a lot of, um, I'm trying to do more exotics. I do a lot of ABS, so I screw it up if I put it on one of my printers. Oh, also another thing, don't buy the Banggood uh, insulator pads. They don't fit and they look crappy. I'm gonna do another video soon uh, using black plumber spelt from Amazon. I have it on my Creality CR-10S. I don't remember where I found the idea from. It holds up 900 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so it'll be more than any type of bed temperature you'll ever use. And it's fire safe and everything. So I'll be doing that also. And what else are we doing here? Uh, I think that is it. Oh, one other thing. This is my, I've seen all kinds of different extruder feeders. I've seen someone put a cheaper one of these online or on YouTube do a, um, a review of it. I'm not really into a review, but just have, take a look at McEwen 3D. This is thing's so well built. You see how it's the metal piece for the, you know, if you have flexible filament. So there's no gap between the, uh, where you feed it in. And that's another cool thing. 
That is uh, Capricorn tubing, so I own that too. This is not on this machine. This is tough tubing by uh, Tiny, Machine, Tiny Machine 3D, where I bought my Creality printers from. It's a very good um, uh, tubing. A uh, little more forgiving than Capricorn. Capricorn's got less tolerances, but it's super high quality. But see how that protects the uh, filament from coming in on the lead screw? Very nice. So I think that should be it. And then on this one, I'm going to be upgrading it completely with that. Also, I got a mean well coming in. And then the uh, Micro Swiss Full Metal High that will be going on that. It's all going to be done in this high quality um, matte sand uh, PETG. So I'm going to do a whole video on that also. So I just want to make sure everyone knows I'm still here uh, going through a kind of, you know, I've had many pets in my life and it never gets easier. And um, always try to go rescue a dog. I almost bought one when I got this. I had a girlfriend talk me into um, getting a rescue dog. I don't regret it. I've been buying a, a $2,000 purebred uh, English lab, uh, which would still be cool. But uh, rescuing these dogs to give them a, a great life is an amazing feeling. And it still hurts uh, probably worse when they go. So as usual, thank you for joining me and we'll see you in the next video. I have some in the can. I have an AnyCubic i3 Mega that I did some easy modding on, something that you'll see. And then I still have the, because this is an older Ender 3, one of the first ones. This has TL smoothers on it. I did a big uh, video on that, how to put it together. And then two big 34 hour prints to compare. Uh, some really cool terrain by Corvus Games Terrain. Um, that's uh, Stephen Boyle. Very cool stuff. And this is from a Kickstarter. This is uh, from Colony. If you look at it on Kickstarter, it's kind of like uh, Infinity Terrain. This is um, called a, like a hauler ship or something like that. This is going to have wings on it and ships and stuff like that. I'll show it off in the future and I get to painting it like I keep threatening with other things. And you see on my dining table is crazy here office work. And I'm doing an eBay purge of, I uh, do so much 3D printing. Why do I need boxes of models? I know it's kind of cool to put it together. But I'm so much in the 3D printing now, I'm going to send these to uh, a more deserving home that will uh, put them together, some GW terrain and some uh, platformer stuff and that kind of thing. So once again, thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next video.